In this video, you're going to learn how to use Tailwind Smart Loop to loop your pins on Pinterest. Let's get started. Hey guys, Angie with AngieGinzer.com here. And in this video, I want to walk you through Tailwind Smart Loop. So first we're gonna talk about what pin looping is and why you should be doing it and how it'll help drive more traffic to your blog. And then I want to show you a really affordable, awesome tool that's going to allow you to loop your pins. It is the best tool out there and it is Pinterest approved. So using this tool is not going to get your account banned, which is definitely something we don't wanna do. So first let me explain what looping is. So when you add a pin to Pinterest, if you manually add it on, so let's jump into one of my boards and let's see, let me find a pin that did decent. So this one did okay, you know, it's been seen by 162 people, it had seven repins and then one click. So yeah, you know, I'd obviously like it to be better, but the problem is, if this is the only time that I go in and add this pin to this board, well, that traffic, you know, unless it gets a ton of repins and a ton of clicks, it's probably not gonna keep generating a lot of traffic for me down the road. So I wanna give that pin another chance. I don't want it to just die on the vine and only have one chance at success, which means I need to pin it more than once. But as a busy entrepreneur, it's really hard to try and keep track of everything you've pinned to every board because more than likely, if you're doing your pinning right, you're adding your pins to multiple boards group boards, you're, you're adding it lots of different places. And so you would basically need a massive spreadsheet to try to keep track of it all. And you would have to jump into Pinterest to manually repin things every time. Well, that's a beast to manage. And as a busy entrepreneur, ain't nobody got time for that. That's where looping comes in. So there used to be a tool called Board Booster that almost everybody used to loop their pins. Uh, full disclosure, I only used Board Booster on a, it was kind of like a test account that I created to just basically test strategies because I didn't really want to do a lot of testing on my own, this account, my Angie Genzer account and risk it getting shut down or flagged for spam. So I kind of created like a bogus false account to run tests on. And so I did play around with Board Booster a bit on that account, but I never did Board Booster on my Angie Genzer Dot com account because I knew that Board Booster was not a Pinterest approved tool. So when you are using tools to manage your Pinterest activity and to automate the scheduling of your pins, it is absolutely necessary to make sure that you are using only third-party approved tools. Now Pinterest has a list of all these tools and all I can't remember the link now, but I'll find it and I'll put it down in the description below so you can go check out that page of approved tools but the tool that I use is called Tailwind. I love Tailwind, I've been using it for years, it's extremely affordable, and it is really played a crucial role in the growth of my business and the traffic that I've gotten to my website over the last couple years. And Tailwind recently came out with a new feature called Smart Loop. And Smart Loop was basically their answer to this issue that entrepreneurs were having and then when Board Booster got shut down, so as I mentioned, Board Booster was not an approved third-party tool by Pinterest, and Pinterest came out about a year ago and said, we're shutting it down. So everybody needs to quit using Board Booster. If you keep using it, you're probably gonna get your account shut down. So everyone on the internet panicked. Well, every Pinterest user on the internet totally panicked. And a lot of people were like, what do I do now? So Tailwind actually came out with a really incredible feature that was in response to this looping issue. So let me take you over to Tailwind and show you how the Smart Loop feature works. Now, first of all, before I jump into the Smart Loop, let me just explain that Tailwind is a management and scheduling tool. You can use it for Pinterest or Instagram, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just gonna focus on the Pinterest management of Tailwind. So let me jump into my dashboard and let me take you over to the Smart Loop. So on the side here, I'm gonna click on this publisher and we're gonna go down to Smart Loop here. 
Okay, now there is a lot to unpack on this Smart Loop page. So I'm just gonna walk you through it briefly, but more than anything, I really recommend you try out a free trial of Tailwind so that you can jump in and just start playing with it yourself. Um, if you need a link to try out a free trial, I have one in the description below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, but it will allow you a free trial to, try, to test out Tailwind and to try it out. So let's look at some of these different features within Smart Loops. So you can see here, it tells me the number of active Smart Loop posts that I have. So I have almost 3,000 Smart Loop posts, and I've opted for the unlimited plan. I believe that the base level Tailwind plan comes with 250 Smart Loops. So if you're very strategic with how you build these out, that should be plenty. But if you really want to ramp it up, ramp things up like I do, and Pinterest really is a huge driver for the majority of my traffic, opt, go ahead and opt for that unlimited plan. Okay, so now let's look at the different smart loops I have. So I have a loop specific for Pinterest content, one for social media content, one for my most popular pins, one for blogging related content, and then one for promotional content. So that's leading people to lead magnets, uh, tripwire pages, sales pages, landing pages, that sort of thing. It's very promotional. And each of these you know, has a variety of pins and I'm able to set up a schedule. So let me jump into one of these loops and just show you how this works. So you can see here that in here I have 93 scheduled pins coming up in the next 31 days. So this loop has three pins per day and they are indicated by this little red looping icon. So if you come over to my schedule, you can see that today there's one, um, there's another one, because you can see by that little pinkish red icon, and then there's another one. So each one of these loops in my schedule, this little looping icon indicates one of my loops. And you can see I also have pins right here that don't have that little looping icon. And these are pins that are scheduled for later. So I have manually entered those pins into my queue and now they are scheduled to be pinned at a later date at, a, at an optimal time. And I have my schedule. Let me go over really quick to just show you the schedule that I have set up. So when you're building out your smart loops, you think about your general queue. And so this is the number of pins that you have going out in a week in your general queue. And then you have each of the queues for each one of your loops. So the Pinterest content, I have 21 pins a week, so about three a day. And you can see that it breaks down to about 40 pins per day that I have going out based on that general queue and then my different smart loops. Now the beauty of this is that at any given day, if I'm not able to fill up my general queue and maybe just life has gotten in the way, I still have all of these loops automatically going out with my absolute best content. So I know that on any given day, maybe I wasn't able to fill my general queue, I'm still gonna have about 15 to 20 different high quality pins still going out and being pinned to my boards into my group boards so that my content is constantly getting out there and being shared so that it's not just a one and done, pin it and you're done. It has a chance to resurface over and over and over. And this works particularly well if you are creating really high quality content. Now, if you're just throwing out junk and you have junk pins and junk content, Smart Loop probably isn't gonna work for you. But if you are creating really high quality content that has lots of value and it has longevity to it, so it's evergreen content, there's not a time limit to it, Smart Loop can work great. But even if you do have time bound content, Smart Loop has a seasonal feature, which is really cool. So let me show you that really quick. And this seasonal feature works really great if you publish content around holidays. So maybe you're a crafter or a food blogger and you create a recipe for a 4th of July berry cake, or maybe you have some Halloween craft ideas for kids. Well, you obviously don't want to be pinning those pins over and over throughout the year because, you know, when, it's, when people are thinking about Easter, they're not really saving Halloween craft ideas. 
And so Smart Loop has a really great feature that allows you to make certain content seasonal. So you could create a loop for Halloween or a loop for the 4th of July, depending on the type of content that you create. Or maybe it's just a summer loop where, you know, maybe you have a lot of content about camping or outdoor activities. In that case, you could create a more seasonal loop where it's not specific to a holiday, but maybe it's specific to a time of year or a season. And so let me go in and edit one of my loops to show you how simple this is. And so right here where it says choose when to loop your pins, well, mine are going all year round because my content is very evergreen, but you could switch it to loop every year in between and then you choose the months and the days. And Pinterest actually has a really great tool to help you know when to do this. And so I will put a link below as well down to that video, but they have a guide that basically tells you, you know, if you have content specific to Halloween, these are the times where you need to start pinning it. You would be surprised how early people start searching for content around a specific holiday or a season or a time of year. So right now I'm recording this in April and Pinterest is already seeing a big upsurge in people pinning content related to summer planning and summer activities. So you would need to start a seasonal board all around summer content for as early as April. So check out that resource to help you build out your seasonal loops. And again, I will have that in the link down below. Okay, so that was just a quick overview of how Tailwind Smart Loop works. Now, if you are interested in getting more traffic to your website with less effort, I definitely recommend you check out Tailwind and Tailwind Smart Loop. Again, I've got that affiliate link down below where you can start your own free trial to see if Tailwind is a good fit for you and your business. And then if you want some more in-depth guidance where I walk you through all the little facets of Tailwind, how to use the features and to really maximize them to their full potential, then I have a course I think you might wanna check out. It's called Tailwind for Pinterest Pro. And at the recording of this video, I'm still building it out, so it's not ready yet. But once it's ready, I will put a link down below or just head over to my website at angiegensler.com and click on the products and courses to see if it is available yet. In the meantime, I would love to have you join me on my free Pinterest webinar, where I walk you through how to grow your email list and get more traffic really quickly using Pinterest. You can sign up for that at angiegensler.com slash Pinterest. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below and like the video. That really helps me know what you find valuable so I can continue to provide great value for you. And it also lets YouTube know to show this video to more people so I can help impact more entrepreneurs just like you. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified every time I publish a new video to help you grow your business using social media and digital marketing. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.